hello friends today in this video i will be talking about how to convert all the pages inside the pdf document into jpeg jpg images so for that we will be using the image magic library so image magic is a very open source library which is kind of a photo editor which is similar to photoshop so it has its own library you can just download this program inside windows so simply type image magic download windows and it has its own website you will see that and uh, it has you can see you can up, uh, according to your operating system i have i am running windows 64 bit so for windows they have this file here simply click this file and this will be a setup file so after downloading it click next 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 and in order to install this so i have already installed it so after installation you will see you will type here my magic simply type magic here and the command will work here like this so basically it will it is used to convert images from one format to another and also we will be converting the pdf pages to jpg images so apart from this library we also need one other two more other libraries which are uh, if you go to the video description link i have written the complete blog post inside my tutorial series so you will see this is a blog post so basically there are two blog post links which are there inside video description so you have you need this library also which is graphics magic this library or you will also need so simply you need to go to this their source forge page here simply download this library also and one other dependency you will need is go script so you also need this go script module so accordingly if you are on windows or linux simply download this also so this will download it as a exe file so simply run the setup file that's it so after having all the all these three libraries now you can convert by using this command here so just go to your uh, where the pdf file is present let me open here only so you will see this is a sample file here you will see if i open this file with chrome here so there are two pages there inside this pdf document so one page and the second page so if i need to convert this to a individual jpg image this first page will have its own jpg image and the second pdf document page will, will have its own pdf uh, jpg image so for this we need to simply uh, on the command line just write this command magic convert and then the input file name which is sample.pdf and then we can provide the quality which will be 100 you can give any value in between 0 to 100 and then the output file name which will be output dash percentage sign is for multiple images because in this case if the pdf document contains more than one page so in that scenario we will have more than one uh, images created so you need to add this uh, percentage sign so enter it and now basically the command will run and you will see inside your directory the images have been created let me delete all these images for now and run this command once again so just check at the right hand corner here you will see these two images will be created because two pages were there inside the pdf document is if i open this you will see it has converted to a jpg image you can see that and this is a second image jpg image so you can work with any pdf document it it can also contain uh, images or tables also let's suppose if i sample pdf with images so basically if i download a pdf file which contains some images also so let me have this so you can see now this is the pdf document let me download this so i will download it in the same directory where we are let me check in which directory so socket 
crud chat example pdf to image so we can just name this as custom pdf and now we can just change the name to let's suppose custom.jpg so run this now this command works so basically if you just see here now you will see once again a it is created if i open this sorry we also need to change our so this we need to change custom dot pdf custom dot pdf and here this i will change to custom pdf so if i run this you will see only one jpg file is created now because only one page were there if i open this image you will see it has created it has converted that uh, image which was embedded inside the pdf document and it has converted to its own jpg image so you will see that so this is the power of this library so you can just make a node.js application inside the browser using express so we will be doing the same process step by step in this tutorial so keep watching this tutorial so for this i will make a new directory here i will close this command line all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description so this node.js code will also be there so let me just go to desktop directory and here i will just make a new directory here which is pdf to images project i will cd into this pdf to images project and then i will open this inside first of all inside uh, visual studio code text editor and the very first thing i will do i will initialize the package.json file npm init-y and then we will install express for our server and uh, multi dependency for uploading files that's it so install this and uh, after that we will create inside the same directory index.js and we also will create uploads directory for uploading files pdf files on the server so just create this uploads directory and now we will just make a simple express server so you just need to require it const app express so here we will listen on a particular port number 5000 let's suppose and the second will callback function which we will be saying that app is listening on port 5000 so now we can just open a get route here when we load the page for the very first time on the home page we will load a send file button here we will say index.html so here we can just say dir name plus so now we can create the index.html file in the same directory this will be a simple form here we will not be styling the application we will just be making the post request to this will be convert to image and the, this will be a post request and uh, it will be having this attribute encoding type multi-part to form data and inside this we will have the input type will be file here and we will be giving a name attribute file here and uh, just to show the user some a label here we will have a label so we will just say upload pdf file so we will only be accepting only one pdf file this should be required also for validation so user must submit the file and we will be after that we will just be having a simple button to submit the form so this will be type submit and we will say convert to image that's it convert to images or we can say here extract all images that's it so now in this at this moment of time if i launch this application nodeborn index.js 
So node mod is the library which automatically restarts your server whenever you make any sort of changes. So you can install this by npm i dash g for global node mod. I have already done that. So after that, you can just say node mod in text.js. So now if you cross check, if you open this application at port number 5000, you will see this form. And make if I may only want to uh, allow the PDF files to appear, I can add this filter also inside this input field that it should only accept the PDF file. So except here we will say dot PDF. So now if you refresh it, if you choose here now only the PDF files will be shown here like this. So this will increase the user engagement. So now what we need to do is that we need to upload the PDF file and uh, convert this to all the images. So for this we will be first of all be making the upload directory as static. So this we can do this by using this middleware which is express.static and uh, here we can include the part dependency of uh, node.js which is a built-in one. So here we can say we can use the join method and we can join this dir name plus uploads that's it and after that we also need to include the body parser middleware so we, when you are working with forms you need to be initializing this body parser middleware which is a built-in dependency so body parser dot url encoded extended to false and the second statement will be body parser dot json so these two statements you need to write in order to initialize this body parser middleware and now we will be including the malter dependency in order to upload the pdf file and store it inside the server and if you know the malter dependency if you just see if you go to npmjs.com search for this module malter it has its own documentation it is very good so it requires two parameters which is storage where you will store your, all your files here simply I will just copy this snippet of code so here we can initialize malter here malter configuration so we can paste it so here we are storing the files inside the uploads directory so I will replace this uploads and then we will say file name so it is not including the extension so for that we need to simply write this line of code so just search for malter extension include so just write this on google and you will see the stack overflow answer which will tell you this line here simply paste this line so which will actually include the extension also inside the file name by using path.extension name so now we can initialize malter here call this library and pass the storage as the storage that we have defined that's it and then we need to make the post request which will handle the conversion process so we can say app.post and we the post request that we have configured here which is convert to image so we can just write here convert to image and uh, request response and here we can first of all upload the file upload the PDF file so we can say here we can use upload and here I forgot to attach dot single as we are only uploading single file at a time here and here we need to pass here the name attribute which you have given which is file here you have given this name attribute file and now you can just say request.response and error if any sort of error take place we can console log this and in the else scenario we can just carry out the conversion so here we can just console log the request.file.path of the pdf document which is uploaded let me now refresh the application select a pdf document to be uploaded click this button and now if I check the console you will see it will upload the full path which is uploaded here 
if i check the uploads folder you will see the pdf file is uploaded here you will see so now we are successfully uploading the pdf files now we simply need to convert it extract all the images and download it as attachment so for this we will be including a module which is very much easy which is a built-in module execute and we will require the child process module so child process is a module by which you can execute a command line as you just enter any sort of command here in the command line you can execute as programmatically inside node.js so this is actual module so it contains this execute method so here we will call this execute method like this and simply we will paste the command here which we run here magic convert which is it will take the input file name which is stored inside request.file.path and then we will say quality will be 100 and then the output file name so here what we need to do is that we can say the the output file name which we have configured here so if you go to the video description link here i have given the command here mm. let's suppose i have executed this command here slightly If I go to this here you will see here if I view this document the command is there if you can see the output file name so just copy this name here and we can paste it first of all I am just showing you uh, statically what it happens if I execute it so the second argument it takes is error standard out and standard error so basically if any sort of error take place we can console log it if no error take place then we can say console log conversion completed and now we can see the root directory also when if we launch the application so now let me just submit the file here if I go to the directory once again refresh the application if I upload a file here sample file if I upload this, click extract all images, you will see nothing will be printed out. Let me see if we have made a mistake here. Output. So it just needs to. It's saying magic convert request.file.path. Quality should be 100. Output this. Let me rerun the application. You can see conversion completed. So now you can see the images have been created. You can see this is the first image, this is the second image. So now we are successfully converting the PDF document pages images to JPG images. Now if let me try it once more. If I try to upload a PDF file, the same file, click extract all images. You will see again conversion completed and once again it will replace it with these images and now we want a way by which we can download these images as attachment so whenever at the cl client machine they will be able to download it as attachment rather than seeing it here so for that we have a special dependency which allows you to download multiple documents in a zip file so as you know that zip files contains multiple documents zip files so zip files just store multiple documents it's an archive document so nodejs have a module which allows you to create these documents at the server side it is called as adm zip so we will install this module here so you can see it's a very popular module over one, one million weekly downloads are there so simply we will install this npm i adm dash zip so install this after installing it once again we will start the application 
so at the very start of the application we will include this module adm zip require it so now to create the zip file it is very easy at the very in the else block we will output zip we will have the name of the file date dot now plus output output dot zip i think it should be written as output dot zip that's it so every time it will have a unique name because we are using date dot now function so basically this file need to be downloaded as an attachment so here we need to add the files add the files to the zip file which needs to be downloaded so in order to add the files it is very easy so if you read the documentation here what you need to do is that there is a first of all you need to initialize it here so we will initialize it we will replace your output zip here output zip that's it and then we will give it a name mm. I think this is the method by which you can save it. Save this file right here. So target file name. I think in the same directory we need to save it. So we can pass this name here which is output zip. That's it. So here we need to remove this line here. Just copy this line I think. Control C and paste it at the very top here like this. this so we will be writing this output zip file so this statement will come at the bottom so when we are done adding the images so first of all we need to add the files to the uh, what was the statement here zip dot write zip sorry so output dot right zip uh, yes this needs to be output zip output zip so this statement mm, this output file we let me just rename to output file here and this statement needs to come whenever we have we are done writing the images to the uh, zip file so first of all here we need to first of all uh, add the files here to the zip file so in the documentation you have this method here which is add file add local file so we will have this method which is output zip output zip add a local file so here you will just add all the files here which is present have this syntax here Let me just copy paste it. And then write this file. So output zip dot write file. Sorry, write zip. Write zip. Write zip. So Z is capital here. So here we can pass the name here which is output file. That's it. Output file. So now if I execute this, hopefully the application will work. So our file is there. So if I sample, extract all images. So it is saying Adam or zip is not defined. So I think we, oh sorry, this needs to be add a zip like this a should be not capital here let me just add them add a zip like this so again refresh it and uh, again refresh the application guys so choose the file sample extract all images so it is saying file not found so i think 
as the, these files are there so we need to have some mechanism here in order to find out all the pattern of the files which starts with output here uh, we have to have a mechanism to find out all the files which start which start with output and then we can add multiple files here like this so we can have a for loop so statically we can also add here so we can use for each loop here or for loop we can add statically as well but uh, let me just see let me pause the video guys let me find out the solution uh, hello guys I finally found out the solution it was very painful so I was searching on stack overflow you will see it's a very good website for programmers so I finally got this snippet of code so basically what it does is that it make use of the existing file system module of node.js and basically we will check here inside this snippet of code that if it is equal to jpg the extension so basically we will check inside the root directory all the files we will extract with which have the extension called as jpg so this is a snippet of code we are reading the directory here so we will uh, replace the directory here by dir name and then we will change the extension to jpg dot jpg so here we will store this inside this jpg files array and then what we can do here is that we can console log this array which will be console log jpg files and for the time being I, I can comment these lines here which are there simply and we need to include this module at the very top which is file system module which is a built-in module of node.js you need not have to install this module so now I can just uh, uh, go to my application simply I can upload the PDF file and click extract all images so you will see in the console this array will store all the files which you can see the extension alongside with the extension also output.jpg output.jpg so what we can do is that we can uh, simply add this inside our zip file so we can use the for each loop here for each and the array name will be in this case will be jpg files and for each file we will say we need to invoke this command here which is output dot we can just remove this and paste it inside this for loop that's it for each iteration for each file we need to add this file so simply the path will be simply here file here that's it and uh, after that we can write this file output zip for dot write zip output file that's it the name which we have given here which is random name let me try this let me see if it is working or not if I once again choose the sample file PDF file click and now you will see hopefully uh, you can see output zip file is ready here let me just see if it is containing all the files or not so let me open it inside the directory reveal in file explorer so so this is a zip file you can see that guys if i open this file let me see if it is containing it extract all cannot complete it because we copy the files oh, it hasn't it don't have the files guys let me just see why it but it happens so for this let me just see if i console log the files here which are there if i once again console log extract all images so you will see it is coming here the path is coming add local file so it should add it i don't see see why it is not working mm, output zip dot add local file so if you check the documentation of this module I think we need to provide the full address so let me just use the path dot join method and here we will pass our dir name uh, 
डर नेम प्लस स्लैश सॉरी स्लैश फाइव सॉरी स्लैश स्लैश फाइल फाइल सॉरी लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ इट इज वर्किंग और नॉट दिस इज प्रोवाइडिंग द एब्सोलूट एड्रेस सो लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ इट इज वर्किंग एंड हेयर ऑल्सो लेट मी प्रिंट आउट द एब्सोलूट एड्रेस ऑफ दिस फाइल हेयर सो इन प्रोग्रामिंग वेरियस टाइम्स यू फेस सम इश्यूज ऑल्सो so it is very much normal so once again if i um i think we need to put a slash also here so let me just see let we need to put a slash also so i think we need to put a slash put a slash here also here and let me refresh it and now let me once again run this application click extract all images and now you will see the path is there the absolute path is there and make sure let me just see if it is written the zip file or not so you will see this is a zip file has been created you can see it should write the files but i don't know why it is not writing it the image files are there you can see 46 kilobytes 31 kilobytes if you just see here why it is not doing this add local file zip to uh, get file name add local file so the full path was there but i don't think so why it is not adding it the method is good here add but you can try this on your own guys on your local system if it is working or not i have shown you the complete code here the link will be there inside video description on this system it is not working right now but make sure that you sorry i think the path is incorrect here you can see the slash here we have given the wrong slash so let me give it a this slash let me see if it is working so this slash is so so you can try this on your own guys so if it is working or not i have shown you the complete code the link will be there inside video description and thanks so much for watching this video